Yo, what's going on guys, Manny here and welcome back to Pez Become a Legend. Since the last episode, what you have missed. This would have been episode 10, what you're seeing now. But unfortunately, a lot went down and I'll explain it in a second. But I moved to Juventus over Tottenham. That was the decision that you guys ultimately made. I came with the intention of forging myself into the Juventus starting lineup, but not only did Mandzukic have my number 17, he had my starting spot too. In this league game against Napoli, we do take the lead through Miralem Pjanic. Up the other end of the pitch and Napoli weren't going to roll over for us. They get back into the game with an own goal from Lichtenstein. A very, very unfortunate there. We did, however, manage to get the win as Mkhitaryan played it through to Mandzukic and he somehow got that in, but it was 2-1 and we beat Napoli. When I saw it might be a bit of a struggle to make it into the side, I did add a new position to my game, which would only take me 21 days to earn. Despite adding that to my game, I was still found on the sidelines and Higuain was stealing all the headlines, constantly scoring. Higuain's form meant Moutinho's game time was very limited and when I did come on the pitch, I wasn't getting much time at all. It was very, very very frustrating. It wasn't just me that was struggling to get into the team, also Dybala wasn't having his way. When I was on the pitch, I was kind of forcing it, trying too hard and the goals just weren't flowing at all. To add to my misery, and this guy just didn't stop scoring, it was ridiculous. Every single time we played, Higuain was more or less getting a goal. To make matters even worse, when I did come on, I lost my marker and they scored an equalising goal in the cup. Higuain was still not taking his foot off the pedal, another goal for him. The Champions League also came around and to my knowledge I wasn't going to be involved in that. I was really regretting the fact that I left Ajax and the chance to play against Barcelona in the Champions League. Although I did learn how to be an attacking midfielder, I didn't even make it into the squad at one point. Higuain was still scoring and he led our team to a 3-0 victory against AC Milan. After so much stress and I finally did get into an area where I could get my first goal for the club, Higuain set me up and Moutinho finally had scored. I thought after that things would fall into place but again I went back to forcing it and it just wasn't happening. I thought international football might bring a change of fortune we played against England and we had a 0-0 draw so nothing happened there. Although we made it through against St. Petersburg we got smacked 4-0 by PSG in the first leg of the quarter final. I was literally trying everything. I tried to play right wing forward and I still didn't get into the team leaving Moutinho unhappy. Let's get into this episode and see what happens though. Before we get into this video though just a quick reminder that Maradona is available still on my club currently so if you want a chance it's quickly running out. If you want a chance to get Maradona go ahead head and look for him now. And that's how to do it when the team needs it most. So yeah, it wasn't exactly the way we planned Juventus to go and I should have listened to a lot of you guys who said I'd be cup tied, but I didn't think it actually registered on the game for some reason, but it has and I've seen myself out of the squad and probably the reason that I've missed so many games. But yeah, I guess all that's left to do is try and finish the season. I wasn't going to bore you guys with an episode like that, so we're going to have to see if we can make anything out of this. So the first game today sees us play against Spal, but guess where we are exactly? You guessed it, we are on the bench. It's another period where we have to wait and hope an opportunity comes where we can take it and hopefully score and get ourselves into this team because we've been on the sidelines too much. Honestly with the way the episode I attempted to record went, that's why it's taken me so long to get this one out by supporting the box please tear it away. Yeah it's taken me so long to get this one out because I was just demoralised and thinking I've barely played a game, no one's going to want to watch that. How am I going to make this into an interesting episode for you guys as Higuain gets tackled? Higuain is taking all my shine. Every time Higuain scores, basically, it guarantees I don't play. If Higuain doesn't score before half time, we might actually get 45 minutes on the pitch. Go on. Go on. I, see, that, see, now that's sounding like I want them to score, but I just want to get my opportunity. I mean, you guys didn't come to watch Higuain play, did you? Okay, so we successfully made it to half time. Will I get my opportunity? Will I get my 45 minutes on the pitch to show what I can do? And the answer is yes, I need to seize this opportunity. I think I'm playing in the cam position just behind Higuain. So we need to make this work. What kind of hospital pass was that? He just kicked it at me. Oh my gosh, no, get out. Uh, referee, that's a free kick in there, surely? Yes, back heel. Oh, it's a ball over the top. Moutinho, touch it down, and you've missed it. That is a big chance. That's what I'm talking about. This is why Higuain is getting the starts. Little ball over the top. Moutinho, oh, I shouldn't even pass it across. But I'm not trying to give Higuain goals. This is the time when you give it selfish. For help. Then the Deshi's won the ball. Higuain, Moutinho, Higuain, onto Moutinho. Oh, make the overlap. Yes, now. Nice. I'm gonna have to go for this. Ball down to Higuain. He's not gonna make it though, is he? Because he doesn't like me. Higuain doesn't like doing anything good for me. That's gonna be the end of the game. It's gonna be another draw for Juventus. And it's just frustrating. I wish I could go back. I really wish I could go back. 
We're 10 points clear of Inter, not that I can even say we are, because, you know, I barely feel like I'm part of the team at the moment. On the bench again. There's plenty of room for improvement in this game mode, there's plenty of, plenty of room for improvement in the game as a whole. Uh, because this is frustrating, how are you supposed to do anything? I'm on the bench for a Champions League game, so I'm not cup tied. That's what I thought. Alright, so it is time for the second leg. I'm not even sure what the last score was because I totally took my mind off the Champions League, but it turns out I actually could play. They just weren't playing me. Look at them, that star-studded lineup. They've got Neymar, they've got Draxler, Di Maria, I don't know who that guy is, Verratti, Rabio, Kazawa, Dani Alves, they've got Kimbempe, and of course I think that's Ariola. Don't know who that is either. Oh, we are 4 0 down to PSG. 4 0 down. So, the time I do get to play the Champions League, and we are pretty much going to go out unless we win by four goals, five goals even. Can I see the team doing that today? I don't know. But it's a good start. If we get one there, and guess who scored it? It's Higuain keeping me out that team. Keeping me out that team. But it's one goal back, and maybe our team might do the unthinkable. This well worked down the line, Marquisio gets into a lovely position, puts it into an area, and he's nutmeg the goalkeeper as well, Higuain. Uh oh. So there it is, we are pretty much knocked out of the Champions League as Draxler gets on the score sheet. How has that happened? Let's see. Uh, his pass is blocked there, it's a terrible clearance. Mkhitaryan doesn't really help us either. Um, Higuain isn't quick enough to get there. He sneaks in behind, and there's no chance for Chesney there. 5 1 down on aggregate. We need six goals. Can I see us getting six goals? Absolutely not. But we could get one back here. Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan seems to be a weak link. That guy's really taking my position at Cam. Oh, another ball there, cleared away by Benatia. Deliver it. Into the box. Go on. Oh, what a goal. Pjanic. We only have five more goals to go, guys. Only five more. Let's take a look at how this happens, though. Cut back there, played into the box. Higuain doesn't get to it. It falls out, and Pjanic on the first time shot. Wow. 5 2 on aggregate. Can we do the unthinkable? Odds on Moutinho coming on and scoring a hat trick. What are the odds? Costa, cut it back. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh my gosh, really? Please, I'm begging you. We're going out the Champions League more or less. Just give me some time on the pitch. It's so unfair. If Higuain scores, I actually just don't get on the pitch. And they make it 2 2. They make it 2. Draxler. Why is Draxler scoring headers? Please tell me. Why is Draxler scoring headers? Bring me on. It's 2 2. It's not like we're winning. They're going to give me like 10 minutes gameplay. Watch Higuain score another one. Oh my gosh, see? See, I might have scored that. And now look, Draxler's on the hat trick. Look at him. Look at him. He's running through. Oh my days. Should have signed for PSG. Mind you, Draxler probably would have kept me out of the team. Look, look at us. We're a mess right now. Just cut back. They're backing off. Goes past him too easily. Keeps it close to his feet and smacks it. Look, they're just having fun. Draxler's just like, what, what, what are we doing, please? See, this is why it would be great if they had a loan feature where you could go out on loan. That would be fantastic. Oh, finally, I get my opportunity on the pitch. Where am I? Go on, Moutinho. Go on, show them what they were missing. Show them what they were missing, Moutinho! Almost, see? Almost already done more than most of them. Pjanic plays it into the box. Who's there? Moutinho. It's such a big save. Oh, okay, there we go. Into the box. Moutinho, bicycle kick. It's just not good enough. I'm rusty, you see? If I have more game time, maybe that goes in the back of the net. Oh, what a ball. You're on side. You're on side. Get in the box then. Come on. See? Assist. Assist for Higuain. I know it's for Higuain, but it's an assist. Look at this run there. Decisive. In behind the defence. Uh, they try to play offside track. Can't do that when Moutinho is about. Puts it into the box. Higuain, it's a nice finish. I'll give you that. 3-3 three, three the final scoreline, but on aggregate, we've been absolutely smashed. And that man, Draxler. Wow. Just wow. 7-3. Seven, 7-3 three. Seven, three on ag. After 10 appearances, that's all I've gotten, but they've all been off the bench. Still not going to get a start either. It's just, oh my gosh. Look, now they're saying we'll try again next year. What's that going to do with try again next year? I don't want to be at the squad anymore. If I'm going to be playing second fiddle to Higuain all the time, um, I don't even want to be here. All right, a game against Roma. It's raining. We're on the bench. It, you know, the story's pretty much still the same. Nothing's changed. I don't know what's gone wrong. But it's looking like Juventus is not the place. And this happens in football players' careers. Like, you have to be realistic. You don't always get game time everywhere you go. Sometimes you get really challenging moments just like this. So let's just pretend for a moment it's realistic. I just realised I'm going to have a league title under my name. Oh my gosh. That was very close. But I'm probably going to have a league title under my name. Providing we don't draw everything from now to the end of the season. 
and uh, I'm going to have barely any input in it. No top scorer list, nothing. I'm not even anywhere near that. And it's just the worst time, really. Now Nine Golan's played it. It's dropped down into the box. El Shirari, sweat into the box, and that's just a terrible goal to concede. What is this team doing, please? Like, seriously. Honestly, I'm a broken man. Routine you on the sidelines. I'd rather have been injured and at least know I'm missing the games rather than just come and watch the games literally. Look, it's probably cold as well, it's raining. Moutinho doesn't want to be on the bench getting all soggy. See what I mean? But nope, that's exactly where we are. And they play it into the box, falling out on the edge of the box. They put it back into an area and Buffon's come out sliding. And luckily we get it away. That's 1-0 to Roma at half time. Okay, I'm on the pitch, that's the good news. What can I do though? Janic has come off and I've taken his place. And now I've picked up in a decent area and I've skipped past one. Almost, still got it, still got it. Back heel there, Alexandro, come on. Go on. Now look, look where Roma are. He's cut back, don't let him do anything there. He's got it into the box and it's an acrobatic attempt. Who did that? Perotti, on your own. Wait for support, wait for support. Go on, now play it. Go on, Moutinho, go on. Oh my gosh, that's a big save. And Higuain's gonna take the glory. Oh my gosh. 1-1 one, one, though. So I'm not gonna complain too much, but Higuain taking the glory again, which is only gonna push me further out of the team. Higuain holds it up. To be fair, it's a decent ball. Defender doesn't deal with it. Moutinho gets his body there, but it's a great save from the keeper. And Higuain taps it in, does the easy bit. Go on. Look, we're in the box. Moutinho! Oh my days! This game does not want me to score. Look at this, I've done everything right. He just gets his hand at the last second. Get into that area. Go on, Moutinho. Uh, it's fallen down and is that a corner again? Late run, late run. There we go, there we go, there we go. Big save again. Higuain. Nice. Nice. Gonna have to knock this out wide. It's through to Higuain. Hold it up. Into an area, Moutinho, you can't miss. Thank you. We have actually scored. We have actually scored and this could be the winner right now. Hold it up, play it out wide. It's a ball for Higuain. He's watched his run well. The boy's going to be greedy for a second, but he puts it into an area. And that's an easy tackle for Moutinho. Put it quite central as well, so we are lucky that it went in, to be fair. Come on, just on a play. Higuain finally done something good for me. Goalkeeper's got no chance. So we've scored one. We have a few minutes left. Can we get a second one, maybe? I need to turf Higuain from that striker position. Higuain with the back heel onto Moutinho. Moutinho with the fake shot and it's just not worked. There you go. It's a ball for Higuain. Into an area. Oh! Nah, nah. This goalkeeper's on something. This goalkeeper is on something. How's he got back across his goal like that? Moutinho got to put it in the corners and he's not saving that. No, yes. End the game. Thank you. We've won a game and it's actually thanks to Moutinho. As well as Higuain, to be fair, but we've won a game against Roma. It's a big win. You can see what it means to the team. And uh, hopefully it means something to me because I'm craving a start. I honestly never thought I'd see one of these again, a 7.5 average rating. So as a result of that win, we are still 10 points clear. Can I get a start in the next game though? That's all I want. Also now 77 rated, so we should be a little bit closer to doing that. But look at the average rating. Oh gosh, it's just so bad. I'm still on the bench and I'm playing against the world team, world all stars. I don't care about that. I want to play against Inter. I'm just going to skip this. I, 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 can't, I can't be bothered. I'm skipping it. Probably just stay on the bench for the whole match anyway. Higuain taking all the shine as we beat Inter 2 0. And that, that, look, we've won the league now. We've won the league. I, I forget that. I'm actually angry now. Oh, so I'm somehow in the team of the month. I am somehow in the team of the month. Look at the Crotone guys having fun in the team of the month. Bench again, bench again. I'm not doing this. I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving. Had enough of this. Look, league winner confirmed. Look at Dybala. He's barely played himself. This is a special day. The lads played out their skin in every single game, and that's what led us here. I couldn't be happier with the team. The team? Am I even part of that team? There's no point. Good. Lose to Lazio. I don't care for you guys anymore. I'm not playing my football here. I don't like this. I'm 78 rated. How am I going up in rate when I'm not playing? Oh my days, so now I get a start. When it doesn't matter, oh, let's give uh, Moutinho a start. Okay, so life at Juventus has really, really not worked out for us. And the way it's gone, I'm 
regardless of you what you guys think I'm going for a move yes I would like to move to a team in the Champions League but I'll drop down to the Europa League if I have to just for first team football anyway we've got to start today so we have to show what we can do we need to put ourselves properly in that shop window because our time at Juventus is drawing to a close look how they're starting all the irrelevant guys you see you don't see Higuain in the lineup now you see myself and Dybala the people who barely played as Mkhitaryan has it cut it back go on I'm there and Dybala oh, that's a big save again these goalkeepers are on something Oh my gosh, what kind of pathetic shot is that? Yes, yes, Moutinho, please. Yes, there we go. Come on, 1 0. Is it like we could, we could have had a great time here? We could have created something great at Juventus. We could have gone through to the Champions League, the better stages of the Champions League, maybe even the final, but no, no. So we picked up on a mistake there anyway. We scored uh, probably, what, our fourth goal for the club, if even that, maybe third. Look at this, touch, composed, finish. Put him under pressure, put him under pressure, put him under pressure. Make him make a mistake. That has just skimmed my head. Win that. No, 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 no. I love how when one of them tackles, the other one just runs away. Look, look, why are you losing it there? Why are you losing the ball there? Oh my gosh, that was the most pathetic attempt ever. We got lucky. Oh, there we go. Little reverse pass. Get into the box, get into the box. What is that? Oh, 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 you see? You see? Did you see that? Did you see that assist? That's how you do it. You play it out wide, you're unselfish. I don't know what this pass was from Mkhitaryan. Bit of a difficult one, but look, get your head up into a nice area and how about that for a first time finish? I'm totally demoralized though. Like, it's almost like these goals mean nothing to me. We're 2-0 up against Cagliari and my mind is elsewhere. I feel like Aubameyang and how he wants to leave Dortmund. 2-0 at half time. Not that it really matters. Juventus have already won the league without Moutinho. But, like I said, Shop window, we're trying to get a decent offer. Oh, they've given it away. Moutinho, go on, have a left foot shot. No, nope. line ball from Alexandro. You know what, let's whip this early. Good ball into the middle, and you see, that's one goal and two assists now. Marquisio on the end of it. I don't know why you're acting like we've had a celebration together. Uh, that's probably the first time we've celebrated it together. Look at this, touch it down, you give and go. You go, you're on the move, they can't track him. Moutinho's breezing it down the left wing. It's a ball into the middle and Marquisio rises highest. Maybe if I got a bit more time in the PSG game, it would have been 8-7 on aggregate. Or maybe even 5-4. Five, five, he's got too much time to cross that. He's got too much time to cross that and look, look. I can't wait to leave you guys. Oh yeah, we're Juventus, we've won the league. Look at them, look at them. Joke men, joke men, look at that. Bars Agli, big man like you. Well done Bars Agli, you actually got your head to it this time. At the expense of a corner though, and look who they've got back defending me. I don't want to be in this position realistically, get that out. Yep, okay, you see, you see that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Ooh. almost gave away a pen. Get out, there we go. Bang, bang, 3-1, 3-1. I'm just saying, who was involved in all three goals? Remember this, Allegri. I know you only gave me a year deal, but it doesn't look like I'm even gonna get renewed. I'm pretty sure these guys look like they've either stayed up or been relegated and they're thanking their fans. 8.5 player rating. I'm in the starting lineup. Okay, we got a cup final, a cup final, and I'm in the lineup. The cup final against Napoli, and what do you know? At the end of my career at Juventus, or the end of my time at Juventus, maybe this time round, um, I'm getting game time, which is very frustrating. Uh, I'm almost tempted to say stay, but I feel like they've disrespected me too much. I, I, I want a new challenge already because. I don't know, it's just not worked out here. Anyway, for 90 minutes, that goes behind us. We'll think about transfer news and options later, but Moutinho has to show these guys what they're gonna miss if he's gonna leave. Moutinho, good turn in the box, go on! Oh my gosh, he's powered it at Pepe Reina. Unlucky, look at this, we've worked it really well. Costa, out wide, Lichstein and down the line, Moutinho with a nice swivel in the box. Left foot shot, Pepe Reina is equal to it. All right, here we go, we've got an opportunity to take the lead. Go on, put that in the box, go on, put that on Moutinho's head. Go on, Moutinho, get up. Come on, Costa with the shot. Goalkeeper mistake, oh, he's cleared it off the line. How close was that? Deliver that, deliver that. Decent ball, Moutinho with the flip down. What's happened to Higuain all of a sudden, is he injured? That would be ironic. Moutinho. Ball for Costa. It doesn't work, but it's worked out in the end. Moutinho can pick it up there. He's cut inside. Moutinho with the shot. It's blocked. But I think Koulibaly 
Go on, make it Mkhitaryan. Sandro, one of you get the ball back, please. And now Napoli are moving it really well. Look at them. It's popping it. Oh, there we go. Go on. Oh my gosh, he's got in my way. Oh. Come on. Oh my gosh. How is he through like this? How is he through and on goal like that? And how is he missed? Anyway, it's nil-nil at half time. It hasn't quite gone our way. We've had most of the opportunities and mostly been in their half, but we've not made anything of it. You and I both know that if I don't do anything significant, I'm going to get substituted and Higuain or Mandzukic is probably going to take my place. Uh-oh, Mertens has spun our defence and Mertens goes through and on goal. It's a big save there from Gigi Buffon. How is this guy even still playing? Okay, that's a decent ball. It's Moutinho who takes it down. Who is this strong, big black guy? Go on. Oh, uh, go on. Put it in the box. Go on. Oh my gosh, I've hit the post. He's tipped it onto the post. I was just itching for an opportunity there. The baller spreads it out wide. Comes across from, I think it might have been Mkhitaryan. Ah, oh, it's hit the goalkeeper as well. Mkhitaryan. Nice pass and Moutinho's in a good area. Had to pop that back. The baller. Oh, that's a poor flick. Now Callahan coming forward for Napoli. Can they steal it near the end? They played it into the box. It's a header. And there it is. That is probably the winning goal. Koulibaly, really. They put him up front and he scored. So he's kept me out the other end. He sprinted up the pitch. And look, look, look at this. Barzagli again. Barzagli tried to bicycle kick the ball away. Let's just take that in. Oh gosh, this is just a sad story, isn't it? Look at this. And I'll probably get substituted now. Yep, Moutinho for Higuain, the guy who's made my time here a nightmare. So, we've lost. Italian Cup final, hearts broken, life at Juventus just didn't take off for me. Very frustrating, but sometimes you've got to deal with it. Dybala looks as stressed as I've been. What can you do? Final game, I'm in the starting lineup, but quite frankly, I just don't care, so we're skipping that. I need to get out of here. We lost 4 2, and this team is looking like a sinking ship right now. Congratulations, you won the Serie A. Yeah, fantastic. So, my 9 mil transfer from Ajax has seemed to be a flop and uh, that is quite, quite sad. The World Selection Challenge is finally here. Just remember to enjoy yourself when you're stood shoulder to shoulder with football's elite. Wow, look at the team we're supposed to be playing against. Ronaldo, Bale, Hazard, Ribery, Eriksen, Pogba, Bellerin, Alaba, Sergio Ramos, Boateng and Gautois. And the bench has Messi, Sane, Griezmann, Mane, Sanchez, Neymar, Verratti, Cruz, Vidal. Wow. There isn't really anything resting on this game apart from pride. They have a star-studded lineup, and that's clear for everyone to see. So maybe just to match Moutinho up against these guys and see how he does. There you go. Now, the turn. Pop it off. Get in the box. Get in the box. Good ball. Oh, wow. 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 Let's not even look at that again. Moutinho with an opportunity to break. Playing it out wide for Costa. Costa, if you could hold that for a second. Don't know why you're trying to rub on the pass, but it's gotten us a corner, so I can't complain. Watch this run, watch this run. That's the one, that's the one. That's the one, that's the one, that's the one. Moutinho's up highest. That's what I'm talking about. I told you, I told you, watch this. You watched it, you see. That is the quality Moutinho can bring to a team. Look at that header, jumping high above everyone else. I don't think anyone's, any, anyone else jumped, but you know. Look at the jump. No one else jumps, but it doesn't matter. Moutinho gets the goal. And this is against football's elite. Yes, go on, Moutinho. Cut inside. What? Oh! That's why they're football's elite. I was so sure that I scored there. Look at this pass from Lipsteiner. Moutinho with the clever cut across. Bellerin didn't see it coming. Shot. But I think Boateng came across to help him out. There we're going again. Moutinho's going to rise up again. He beat him Pogba in the air. 1 0 at half time against the world selection team. And, uh,. We're doing quite well, I think it's been all us. They do pass it around quite nicely, but apart from that, nothing to show for it. Yes, now we can break, pop it back. Now go, 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 go. You got the run on Boateng. What a touch. Good, lovely, now get into the box. Sandro, deliver that, Moutinho. Oh, Ramos is there, Mkhitaryan. Pjanic, Moutinho, spreading it out wide, giving it away though. He's won it back, and again, he pumped up. One more challenge, maybe? Yeah, Neymar, get to the ground, bro. Give me your spot at PSG. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I've got a yellow card, so, you know, but obviously, Neymar, give me your spot at PSG, bro. 
Oh, what is that? We've given it away and Boateng's picked it up. Ramos is now up the pitch. They've played it in through to Ronaldo, but Buffon will get there. That is why you shouldn't be a striker, Ramos. Alaba's better at turning, though. And now he's pinged it into the box, and now Cristiano Ronaldo is there. Wow. All right, so we've beaten the world selection team. Some of the best players. Look at Hazard shaking my hand. Ericsson telling me, why didn't I come Tottenham? And Neymar saying that I'm not taking his spot at PSG. Look at the way he looked at me. But we've beaten them. Uh, a goal from Moutinho, and I've shown that I can play with the best. The final day of the season, the transfer window reopens tomorrow. And uh, yeah, there's also an international tournament. But I'm not sure if I want to play the international tournament if my future isn't secure. So I want to move from Juventus and then maybe if we do that before the international games, then I'll play this one. Juventus have once again proved their place as football's top team. The Angel Moutinho had this to say about the special win. Playing against football's elite was a massive thrill, but not as much as beating them. Does it get any better than this? And look, Moutinho and Ronaldo, look, clashing. I could say, hey, Ronaldo, can I come to Real Madrid? I don't like it here. But at Real Madrid, I will probably get benched as well, so I might not like it there. I need to choose wisely. So look, from 40 appearances at Crotone, 22 goals, 11 assists, we've gone down to Ajax. We did decent as well, 27 appearances, 19 goals, uh, 7 assists. But... We've only declined realistically looking at it. Obviously, we didn't spend that long at Ajax and it doesn't look like we're going to spend that long uh, at Juventus, so it's time to move on. Look, Buffon's left the club. Chiellini's left the club. Juventus have made it clear to me that they want to hold on to you. They're offering decent money, but I'd be inclined to hold out for something better to come along if I were you. Be sure to choose wisely. Like I said, I'm going to choose wisely, but I know that I'm not staying here because they've made me too unhappy. It's ruined my mood and I don't want to be here. Mine's not here. Head's gone. So they've offered me a three-year deal. So if I'm a youngster in real life, I'm saying yes to this. I'm staying at Juventus. But for the sake of the series, I want to be getting match time. I don't want to be lingering about. And I didn't like the way they treated me with Higuain. I don't think we'll get along too well. So it's time to move on from Juventus. Let's see what offers we can get. First of all, we're going to try and move to Manchester City. We lost 1-0 to Argentina in a friendly match. What are Manchester City saying? If we can get that move, that'll be a big one. I'll be very happy. Talks of Manchester City have broken down. I'm not playing any tournament games until my future's sorted. Looking at the Champions League, we've got a few decent teams that we could go to there. We could go to Tottenham, we could go to Arsenal, we could try such places. Um, maybe could try Dortmund again. Yeah, let's try Prem. We'll go Tottenham, see if they'll want us back. I know I support Liverpool, but my first priority right now is Champions League football. Honestly, I don't know what this Champions Shield thing is. I think it's some sort of pre-season tournament, but I'm not interested in it, so we're going to skip. And we drew with Celta Vigo. We've also lost to PSG. I know some of you guys might be annoyed, but I just really want to know what team I'm going to. And we're going to find out something about Tottenham today. Will they take us back? Talks with Tottenham broke down. They don't want us after we re rejected them before. Arsenal look like they might need some help. So let's put in a transfer request to them. And we lost 4-0 to Porto. Juventus aren't having a good time. Arsenal. Arsenal have said yes. So we have the option now to move to Arsenal. Let's try and find some other clubs. Barcelona, it's worth a try. I mean, we've got an option from Arsenal now. Skip the Super Cup and we got smacked again. What are Barcelona going to say though? Are Barcelona going to give us a chance? Nope, Barcelona said nope. A move to Dortmund could be pretty cool, so let's try them. And Dortmund are going to say... Dortmund said no as well. No harm in trying again, let's go to City. And, all of a sudden, negotiations with Manchester City went really well. Once I make the decision, the transfer can be completed. See? You never know. But first you don't succeed, try again. So, what do we have now? We have three offers. We've got an offer from Juventus, we've got an offer from Arsenal, we've got an offer from City. Do we try one more? PSG. What are you guys saying? Alright, so, the table's just been drawn out the corner of my eyes. And I'm going to pick who I go to out of Man City and Arsenal. Or maybe even PSG, based on the draw in the group. So I'm going to look at it now. And Man City get AC Milan, Celta Vigo and Copenhagen. PSG get Dortmund, Shakhtar and Basel. That's a very interesting group. And where's Arsenal? Arsenal get... Arsenal have the least interesting group. They got Besiktas, Zenit and Slavia Praha. I think we've played them before, or no, we were going to play them if we were going to be a pod or something like that. I can't remember, but it doesn't look like we're going to Arsenal because that group sounds boring, doesn't sound interesting. Tottenham have a very, very interesting group, so maybe I might put in a late transfer against Tottenham or Bayern or maybe even Monaco because that group is very interesting. Um, 
Real Madrid, look, Inter, Porto, Malmo. That's a very interesting group. Manchester United is out of the question, really. Because, you know, rivals. I, I don't really want to be playing for Man United. But yeah, it's looking like Man City or PSG if the opportunity comes. Look who won UEFA Best Player in Europe. Higuain, Mr. Steal Your Goals. Mr. Steal Your Goals. Talks with PSG broke down. Looks like we're going to be making a big move to Manchester City. Just so we're not pushing stuff, we don't have many days to negotiate. We're going to go to our list of offers. We're going to go to Manchester City. Three years under Pep Guardiola. And hopefully we can flourish. The transfer to Manchester City will be confirmed. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. Goodbye Juventus. Probably the worst time that I've ever had on any Pez Become a Legend series. And Moutinho has to move on. So here we go. A totally new start. Something fresh. Hopefully we are not on the bench just like we were at Juventus. And we actually make something of this one. Welcome to Manchester City FC, I'm the club secretary here. I'm very happy to be working with you. The club staff will provide you with all the information you need. Uh, you're on the bench, be ready to come on at any time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end this episode with a game at Manchester City. And I'm looking forward to playing alongside this guy, Kevin De Bruyne. All right, so a totally fresh start. Juventus did not go well at all. I keep saying it, it was just horrible. Honestly, that episode where I sat here, recorded it, and I was just on the bench, on the bench, not coming on. It was one of the worst things I've ever experienced. But we have a fresh start and hopefully we can get off this bench quicker than we did at Juventus. Gabriel Jesus is the guy I have to push out the way and also they have Sterling there. De Bruyne shots those wicked deliveries. To break all into the box, it's cleared away. Now Sombolonga has it. That does not look anything like a Sombolonga. That needs to be fixed. Jesus goes for a shot. I don't know, I think he has some of that wide he can Sterling cuts back, puts it into the box. De Bruyne lets it go out for a, for a goal kick. 0 0 at half time. Will Moutinho make his debut against Middlesbrough? We're yet to see. Please do not treat me like you did. Give me a chance. Yes, and we are on the pitch. Where am I playing? We are going to be playing up front, so we've taken Asus's place. Raheem Sterling's 84 rate, we've got a lot of catching up to do. Aguero's down to 86. So, you know, we've got a chance in this team. A young, budding Moutinho ready to come through to the first team ranks. I just, I, I was thinking, I said, did I just see Varane? So we've got Varane and Kalasinac in our team. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. I don't even know who played that, but Moutinho's bearing down on goal. He's cut inside Moutinho, away from the tackle, and it's a good save over the bar. But it shows the intent. Well played, Moutinho. Who played that pass? It was absolutely delicious. Held him off as well, showing a bit of strength for once. Taking it away from that guy, maybe a bit too wide, and forced with the save. Give me a good delivery. Give me a good delivery. Moutinho too far out wide. And now they can counter-attack. Varane's missed his tackle. Please, let's get back. Fabio is breaking down this wing. He's cut inside. He's played it down the line. Asamba Longa's got the ball now. He's played it in. It's brave way. Tackle De Bruyne. Don't give it away there. Wow. What are you doing? Easy save for the keeper. Brilliant ball. That's a brilliant ball. Oh, Moutinho. Causing problems. Still going. Ah, oh, too many guys. No support. Where is my support? Why are we playing sort of like defensive? Go on. Go on. one. Silva, uh, Silva still, go on, yes, we blocked it, win it, win it, win it, ah, oh, it's going to be a nil-nil draw for our first game at Manchester City, but there is plenty more to be done here, and I'm not planning to leave as early as I did at Juventus. So Man City are currently lining eighth, obviously we would like to go for the league, they've won one, they've drawn one, which is the game we've just played, and they've also lost one game. Hopefully Moutinho is the player to change that, I'm looking for a really, really good season. Anyway guys, that's it for this episode. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. It's all gone wrong, but that will teach us to make better decisions when it comes to making transfers. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. How you gonna flex while I hold your nerd? Quote on quote, they know what it worth. Ha ha ha, we frown to the curb. Wait, jump in the wave. They just wanna jump in the wave. Push, moves. They ain't gonna run up in the place. What moves? Tell them moves ain't nothing they can say. Mmm, Hermes hard on B. Ay, man was stuck with hate. Ay, went from a six to an eight. My bros on the same night. Like, Ronnie and Reggie's crazy. Ay, we don't get together. Get together. All the cash that we 